Letter 7 of Selected Letters of St. Jane Frances de Chantal This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Christine Lehman, Reseda, California. Selected Letters of St. Jane Frances de Chantal by St. Jane Frances de Chantal Letter 7 to the sisters of the monastery of the visitation of Aneshi. Vive Jesu. Lyons, 16th February, 1615. Excuse me, I beg of you, my dearest and very good sisters, if I do not answer you each one separately, which indeed the kindness you have shown me deserves that I should do, and my affection for you would desire but neither head nor leisure permit it, and besides, God be thanked for it, I see no necessity to write to any one in particular. Persevere in your good desires, and every day become more faithful to the observance of your holy rules, and love them better. This alone, believe me, should be your sole care. Cast not a look upon anything else, and be assured that you will walk upon the right road and will make a good and prosperous voyage. May God in his infinite mercy be with you and bless you, so that you may perfectly accomplish his holy will. With all my heart I desire this, for I love you all, and each one individually, with the greatest possible affection, far beyond what you could imagine. This I tell you all, not forgetting those who have not written to me. God bless you, my very dear daughters. May he be your sole love and desire. Pray, I beseech you, for the needs of your poor mother, who is very affectionately your most humble and unworthy servant in our Lord. End of Letter 7 Recording by Christine Lehman